Good Vach. Rabbi Isai, today's year is sponsored by Seth Hellman. For the second yard side of my grandfather, Mayor Ben Mordechai. Seth, as you recall, is a Balshuva, a university student who didn't even have a Gemara when he started learning with us. One of the guys in the Shir sent him a bunch of art scrolls. And it's unbelievable that he's still with us. Amazing. It's great to see you, Seth. Sponsored by the BPP, that's the Back Porch Prayer Minion of Tina Bergenfield, Rufur Shlem Bakarev, for Shiro Bas Devarelea. So we actually have a piece about uh, this good news, I think. We'll see in a second. Mother of five from Bergenfield who suddenly collapsed and had emergency brain surgery with a brain bleed. She really needs our tefillahs. Her husband is a doctor who's helped save so many people over the last year with corona and otherwise. And now him and his family really need our tefillahs. L'Rufur Shlema, for Usher Ben Chana Liman, a Holocaust survivor, the author, Faith at the Brink. Rufur Shlema, in honor of Aunt Nancy, for our 39th wedding anniversary, all that we have been blessed with is from your kindness, faith, and love. My gratitude and thanks for your sacrifice and dedication to our family. May you continue to be blessed with only good health to see the wonderful family you have raised. All my love, Phil. That's Aunt Nancy equals Uncle Phil. Sponsored, this is a very special one, sponsored by Fischl in honor of Shmuley Weisfish. Shmuley Weisfish is Rabbi Avram Weisfish's son. He's been a tremendous part of the shir. I believe that Shmuley is the one that schlepped Reb Avram into the shir. I think that's how it went. You don't see him that much because he has to go to school. But occasionally he's there on Friday, Matzah Shabbos, Sunday sometimes. Why is Fischl sponsoring? Because Shmuley is finishing his fourth Seder. I believe it's Seder Noshim. Unbelievable. The kid is not even bar mitzvah yet. He's doing the daf. He's doing Mishnayis. And as Fischl said, Fischl sent Yosef a voice note, and he said that these kids, like Shmuley, like I'm looking at Sreli David, I just spoke to Sreli David's father today, he tells me Sreli never misses a daf, never. Choyk the kid is 15 years old, so it's a mechaev for everybody, a mechaev. If these little kids, 12 year olds, 14, 15 year old kids, unreal what they're doing, unreal. Hasn't missed since the beginning of Brachas, really. He used to be here every single night when we had a shir at night. I see him here on Zoom. Rabbi, so you can say hello to him on Zoom. But during the week, YouTube, uh, no, not YouTube, not YouTube. Kol uh, or Torah anytime. Torah anytime, his father said. Anyways, let's go back to Shmuli. Shmuli Weisfish is doing a seum on Seder Noshim. It should be a tremendous mazel. It's great to see you. I don't, I don't see him online. I don't see him on Zoom, but I'm sure he's there somewhere. Oh, here he is. I see him. Hi, Shmuley. Good Vach. Everybody say good Vach to Shmuley. Shmuley Weissfish. Um, who else do we have here today? Shmuley. Uh-huh. Seth Hellman. BBP. Okay. A message from Joey Shatskis. Latest update. Thank Hashem. All went well tonight with surgery. This was just step one. Your tefillahs have made a powerful impact tonight. We ask for continued tefillahs for Shira's speedy recovery. Shira is that young mother. You know, Uncle Phil's thing is so small. The words are so small, it's like on an angle, there's no way they could see it. Okay, Uncle Phil's a big onov. He doesn't need to see it. We will be starting a Caring Bridge account tomorrow for future updates. We had another update from Rabbi Miller. Rib Miller, we were diving for his son. Uh, you know, the son had, here we go. Bor Hashem, Berev Racham of Chasodov, Bini Ayoker Ben Sion. Ben Golden Miriam, we were saying till for him. Uh, he just came out after 10 days in the hospital. I just read, what did I just read in uh, like the Mishpacha magazine? Because all, a lot of the elderly people in Israel are vaccinated. So now it's the reverse. Now you have 75, 80 year old men crying outside the rooms when their 40 year old kids are inside, intubated, etc. That's, that's what's happening, unfortunately. So here's a case like this. Here's the older father caring for his 39-year-old son, who 10 days was in the hospital, and now he's saying, thank Hashem, and we said to heal him for him. He got excellent care in Yale University in New Haven. This is not Israel, this is in America. Anyone who needs care, COVID, send him there. Very dedicated staff. Thanks for your tefillahs. Good Shabbos. 
Thanks for Rebelli mentioning him. Share. We saw Nisim in a flies from a Baruch Hu. Nisim in a flies. Unbelievable. Um, this one is from Yosef Mevarach. He says, Shalom Rebelli, a Shekoyach Godel for the amazing Shir and all the hard work you put in. I've been watching you on Torah anytime on YouTube since Erevin. It was my first time learning Erevin, and I never would have ma- managed to get through it without all the beautiful pictures, charts, and clear explanations. With your shos. No, 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 no. He said he's since. You have to listen to every word. This email is from Daf Ayin Dalid, because he has, actually Ayin Hay, because he has Ha'ara, that I said that the, 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 the uh, what is it called? Bikitzer, Kibayla Kachpoltoi, I said the opposite, that it goes from the outside to the inside. He says it goes from the inside to the outside. He's probably right. Yois Mevarach from Har, no, Vishkoyach. What else do we have here? This is a very good, it's 8.30, okay, so let's go. You spoke about, this from David Dembitzer. You spoke about not eating the heart of an animal, and I happened to learn, look, look, this is amazing, like when you learn one thing and the other thing, he's happened to learn in Kitzer Shulchan Aruch, Simen, Lamed Beis, uh, Tess. It says, Okay, great. And finally, I got to say this, this is important, from Art Smith. Can you please email back where you saw the Psaq of Rav Zilberstein regarding the tattoo now, I have to say that I have to ask Reb Zilbushi Mechila because is in Chashukei Chemed on the Daf. This is a safe Chashukei Chemed on Reb Zilbushi, but I misquoted him. The, the, the Allah is still amazing, but not as amazing as Allah. It says Aidei Nochri. I missed that little point. The point is that this woman said that she wants to do a tattoo for her son, so you shouldn't marry a guy. Aidei Nochri. I was reading it was four in the morning, and I read it too quick. Aydein Achri. And Reb Chaim Falaji also, the Mamzer thing, the Mem on the forehead, was Aydein Achri. Still tremendous chiddush to me. To go to a Goyesha tattoo parlor and have a mug and David on the... On the okay, we'll read this amazing one tomorrow. Here we go. Today is Daf Ayin Zayin. We're starting from Daf Ayin Vavam Beis. This week, on Friday, is Rosh Chodesh Adar. Can you believe it? It's almost Purim. Rosh Chodesh Adar. Question. For Rish Chodesh, do you make a su'uda? Is Rish Chodesh a yantif? Do we make a su'uda? If not a su'uda, do we add extra food? Does anybody do that? Does anybody eat anything special? You do? Laibi eat something special on Rish Chodesh. Where do you eat it? Standing up, walking around, at the Shabbos table, at the milk? What? Okay, so we're going to see. And is there an Indian not to do melacha on Rish Chodesh? This is a shayla you should just think about going to have very interesting sugis today. So, says the Mishnah, starting a brand new Mishnah, So we mentioned the idea of That is, if Chlai Yisrael in general are Tomei, most of them are Tomei, or the Koyhanim are Tomei, then you can bring the carbon anyway, when it comes to carbon Pesach. Now, the Mishnah tells us there are five other Karbonis Tzibur, that are brought betuma. What are they? So we spoke about carbon pesach. Carbon pesach is eaten betuma. That is the only one that you could physically eat. The carbon, if you are tame, other there's no such thing. There's no other carbon that you could eat when you're tame. Even if the gans klal yisrael is tame, you don't eat it. Carbon pesach is acceptable. But here are five five carbonis <clears throat> that you could bring. When you are Tomei, when Klai Yisrael is Tomei, but you don't eat them. Ha'imer. We know you bring a carbon Oimer together with the Oimer, and that, of course, allows you to eat the new crab, Chodosh, Shlemi Klein from Crown Heights. He made an offer this a few days ago. He said, Eli, if you stop eating Chol of Stam, eating Chodosh. Great. I have to think about it. I told him, I'll rather do, I'll stop eating Chal Stam. I should. But he has to bring more people to the shir. I don't, I don't care about him eating Yashin or not. It's only a day right. I need more people in the shir. Says the Mishnah, Ushtei Halechem. The two breads that you bring on Shavuos. Ve'lechem Aponim. 
and the lechem aparim that goes on the shulchan in the in the heichal. Beziv cheishal mitzibur. What is ziv cheishal mitzibur? These are the kerbanos, the shlamim that go together with the shtei alechem. Shtei alechem is what you bring on Shavuos. These are it. Usiire roshei chadashim. Oh, here's Rish Chodesh mentioned the goats that go on Rish Chodesh, the kerbanos. These are brought, even if Klai Yisrael are betuma. Fifty-one percent are tame. You bring it, and you don't eat it. Hapesach sheba betuma, but the carbon pesach is different. If klai yisrael is tame, nechal betuma, then you eat the carbon pesach when you're tame. Shalei bamet chilasa ela lachila. The whole point of the carbon pesach is to eat it, and if you are tame, the main point. It's not. We mentioned it a number of times. The main point of the carbon pesach is not for a kapara like a regular carbon. It's for you to eat. So what good is it if you don't eat it? So therefore, the eating pushes off Toma. Says the Gemara, Hamisha Lemutimai, anytime the Mishnah gives us a number, and we had it even much larger numbers, the question always ha- is, we know how to count, why does the Mishnah have to say some extra words? Lemutimai, Lemutei Chagigas Hamisha Asar. So, we spoke about this Chagigas Hamisha Asar. These, this is the list. I'm not going to mention his name, but I was speaking to somebody from the Shir, and he said, listen, a lot of things in the Shir go over my head, but I'll give you an example of what's stuck in my head. I had no idea they have to bring five karbanas, four, three, four, five karbanas on Pesach. I thought it's only karbanas. That's stuck in my head for that day. Okay, it's also, it's, it's something special. At least we know that. So, the chaz are over, karban Pesach, oil asriya, that's a chiyuv. And he said, oh, another thing I didn't know, that I have to bring for my kids also? I have to get another one? I thought they could, they could eat? No, one for you, one for your kid. And he has older kids, Baruch Hashem. Over bar, even under bar mitzvah, you should bring, Shmuley would also have to bring one probably for Chinuch. Pesach, Oil Rio. Now, Chagigas Yudal, we said, is only to fill you up, and if you're full anyway, you don't have to bring. Chagigas Tesvav, and by the way, this is not only on Pesach, this is on Sukkot, you have to always bring a Chagiga. It's not called Tesvav, it's called a Chagiga. On Pesach, it's called Chagigas The Gemara over here, Rashi points out, doesn't mean Davka Chagigas Tesvav. Anytime you bring a Chagiga. Oh. Chagigas Tesvav, you don't bring when you are a Tomei. That's what it's coming to say. Five, but not six. You don't have Chagigas Tesvav. What, which is Chagiga. We should really say Chagiga. Okay. The Salkad Ayn Hamino Kiv in the Karben Sibu, who. What are the, what are the, what, the qualifications? A, it has to be Karben Sibu. B, Kviya, Kviya Le Mayed. There's a special time that you bring it Mayed. Like, that's the whole Lima from the t- Pasuk. It says, Bimayadechem. You bring it no matter what, on the mayat, on the time. So I think this has it. This has these special things. It's a tzibur. It's for the, com- the, the whole community. And it has a special day. You bring it on every yantif. Now, sometimes you don't really bring it on the 15th, something, 16th. But you bring it there. Titchetuma, so tuma, if you are tummy, You should bring it. Kamashallah, no, says the Mishnah 5, not 6. Kivin this lay, Tashlum Kol Shiva, Lidachi Shabbos. The reason is, at the end of the day, if you don't bring it on the 15th, you should bring it on the 16th. You don't bring it on the 16th, bring it on the 17th. So, Memela, it doesn't push off Shabbos. And if it doesn't push off Shabbos, so Mid Shabbos Lidachi, Lidachi, Tuma. So, therefore, you're not, you don't even bring it when you're tummy. Says Gemara, what about Venus Nami, Siri Harigolim? What about the other carbonas you bring on the Yamim Taivim? Hatanah Le Zivchi Shalmi Tibur. That's already included in Shalmi Tibur. And Rashi points out anything that's zikhi shawitzi means things that have blood. They are bloody. In other words, you shech them. Versus a mincha, a nesachim, something like that. It's already included in Shalmi Tzibur. But it says one of the five is Sire Roshi Chadashim. The Karbanas you bring a rich Chadash. Now the question is. It's already should be included in Shalmi Tzibur. Says the Gemara, the Atani is if Shalmi Tzibur. Amri. So at the end of the day, the Mishnah could have only said four, and I would have known Siri Rosh Chodashim as well. Tap of Ayin Zayin. Ez. Oh, Givaldik. Ez. Ez is a type of a carbon, I guess. Siri Rosh Chodashim in Siri I do need to say Rosh Chodesh. Why? So that the like Sibu Mayed. It doesn't say by Rosh Chodesh the word Mayed, and Mayed is the key here. That's how I learned, and we even had it earlier, 
Do it. Even if it's Shabbos. Do it. Even if you're Tomei. But it doesn't say the word Mayad by Rish Chodesh. Komash Malon, the Rish Chodesh, Ikri Mayad. Rish Chodesh is considered a Yontav. Kida Abaya, the Omer Abaya, Tamuz Dai Shato, Maluye, Maluya. Rish Chodesh Tamuz. Chodesh Tamuz of that year, that dreadful year of the Miraglim. That what happened was on Choftes Sivan, the month before Tammuz, Sivan Tammuz of El, Sivan, Choftes, that's when the Miraglim left. They came back 40 days later. When did they come back? Tishabov. So typically Tammuz is 29 days. That year, they added a day, Mashrabbeinu added a day, so it came out that they ended up showing up on Tishabov. And because they were Boicheb Chia Shalchinam, because they cried for no reason, Klai Yisrael, so that's why the two Bote Mikdash were, des were destroyed on that dreadful day of Tisha B'av. But it only happened on Tisha B'av because they added another day to that month. They made it a 30-day month, not a 29-day, which it typically is, Tammuz. Tammuz day shatim maluya maluye maluya. Dichsiv, kro, kora alay moyed, lishbor b'achuroi. So they called it a moyed. So Rish Chodesh is a Mayad, and therefore, <clears throat> therefore, it pushes off Toma. So, going back to the question that we started off to share with, is Rish Chodesh different any day? Do I have to make something special? So, the answer is, in short, it's good to eat, it's brought down in Shulchan Aruch, good to eat a special food, something different, the Mishnah brings, very interesting, that this, this Rish Chodesh is going to be on Shabbos as well. So what do you do on Shabbos? You already have a beautiful Shabbos Suda. You should add a food. Believe it or not, I don't know if everybody knows this halakha, so it's good to say it. You should add a food, says the Mishnah special for Rish Chodesh during the Shabbos Suda. Remember that. That's one. The, the Kafa Chaim, so especially if you're Sephardi, he says you should sit down by your Shabbos table and eat this, this extra meal, this extra piece. Let's say you buy a special cake for Shabbos on a weekday. So sit down by the Shabbos table, that's what he says. Now, in terms of melacha on Shabbos, so there was a minute, the Rishalmi brings it down, and, and the, the Shulchan Aruch talks about it, that there's a minute that women don't do like heavy melacha. It's also brought down that men shouldn't do serious melacha, like plowing the fields, so serious. That's the re, the re, Rishayim didn't talk about it, they sh you shouldn't do. But they say that it's really, the pre says it's a mistake, and the Mishnabur brings the pre as, that's a mistake. Okay. So that's in terms of Rishayim, but don't take Rishayim lightly. At least, if something came out from this, at least buy something special for Rishayim. Says the Gemara, Lemeim the Kulu It says the word Mayad, and that's how I know it pushes off. Tuma minani mili. The Torah of Abonah by Yidaber Moishes Moyad Hashem. This is said by the Oymer Shneilach. Matam Eloimer. Why do I need it? Lefishalei lomadu Elah letamiru Pesach Shenem Abu beMoyadoi. This we already learned. That it says the word Moyadoi by by Pesach and Tamid. So I know that they push off Shabbos. They push off. Remember in the sugya that carbon Tamid. You bring a carbon Tamid every morning, every afternoon, even on Shabbos. How do I know beMoyadoi? Even if you're talking about How do I know the other one? However, in Parshas Pinchas, when it talks about all the Korbanos, it says, Okay? So it says, as a general rule to all the Korbanos that are in Parshas Pinchas. But guess what? And the Oimer, the two breads that you bring on Shavuos and the Oimer that you bring on the second day of Pesach to allow us to eat Chadosh are not brought over there in Parshish Pinchos. So how do I know the word Moyadechem over there? So it says Moyad by Oimer. Hakasav kavoy moyed echalikulam finished. So they're all moyed. Everything is moyed, and it all <coughs> pushes off toma and shabbos. V'chol ani lameli. Very easy gemara here. And why do I need each and every one? I need 
Oimer, I need Shkhoidesh, I need Pesach, Tzrichim. Because Rachman Atomid, Habamin Atomid, Shekin Tadeh Bekalu. These are all things we're familiar with, Rabbi Yisrael. We had a number of times already. What's so special about a carbon Tomid? It's Tadir. Remember, Tadir, it's every single day. There's nothing more powerful than a Jew learning Torah every single day. Vikalu, and it's completely consumed. It's an Ayla, it goes on the Mizbeach, so it's very powerful. <clears throat> so I would say, okay, for a Tomid, that pushes off Tomid, that pushes off Shabbat. Avo Pesach, Loi. Pesach, people eat it. Only comes once a year. It's not so powerful. Kamash Malon, it also pushes off Tumah. Because we're on Pesach. Pesach, Shuhu, Anush Kars. I bet you if I asked you what's so special about Pesach, you would all know. We had a number of times. Karm Pesach, what's so special? It's Kars. It's very Chomer. Avol Tamid, the Ein Anush Kars, Ein Malai. But if you don't bring a carbon Tamid, you don't get Kars. So it's not as strong. Kamash Malon, that's why I need one in Tamid, one in Pesach. Because Rachmana Hani Tarti, Hava Minani Hu, Yeshmun Sad Chomer. These two, it's just repeating itself. Tamid, Tad Vikalil, it's every day, it's consumed. Pesach, Shuan, Ava Shar Korbanis Tibur, Ema Loi. But other Korbanis not, because Rachmana Eila Tasu, Lashem Bimu Yadechem. Okay, so I need a positive for that, everything else. Because Rachmana Eila Tasu, Lashem Bimu Yadechem, Ava Mina, Shar Korbanis Tibur, Abarim Lechaper. All the Korbanis, what's, what's, what's the deal with all Korbanis? They come for forgiveness of Klai Yisrael. Aval Oimer Shtei Alechem Deim Boim Lechaper Ela Lahatr Baal Moninu Loi Oimer Shtei Alechem. They come to allow you to do something. Chadash Kamash Malon. So I think they're weak. They're not a kapara. Only come to eat Chadash. Kamash Malon. Because Rachmana Oimer Shtei Alechem Luchudayu. And if it only say Oimer Shtei Alechem. I wouldn't know the other carbonus. Why have I been other rabbi? I'm just the alechem, the alimi, the boyim lahatir. Avla hanoch loy kamash malon. Okay, forget. Shte alechem. They come. It's very powerful. You can't eat anything. It comes to allow you to eat food. So I would think that's why it pushes off tuma. But regular carbonus only as. A kapara doesn't push off tuma. Kamashalon. Okay, so we have a tzirchus of everything. Rabbi Yisai, brand new sugya. It's kedai to wake up a little bit. It's good gishmaka stuff. Okay, we we'll learn a bunch of new things here. Savrua, the Talmid Chacham thought the lekuli alma tuma dechuyohi betzibur ubayot tzitz l'ratzos. So. Let's get some of these things in order here. Number one, this is a tzitz. Kohen Gadol wears this on his forehead almost all year round, besides him Kippur. It's not exactly like this picture I see. There's a big shayla how Lashem is, some say Kodesh is on top, Lashem is on the bottom. It's bigger, large. Okay, fine. That's the tzitz. This tzitz is miratza. It If you bring things betuma. This has the power to forgive, to pretend it didn't happen. Okay, that's what the tzitz does. One of the things it does. Now, we mention now tumat chuya. There's two things. One is called duchuya, one is called hutra. For instance, if you're allowed to drive your wife to the hospital on Shabbos, she's giving birth. Is Shabbos hutter utchuya? Is Shabbos pushed off or Shabbos became mutter? In other words, if Shabbos is mutter, so you turn on the radio, you do whatever you want, you, you smoke a cigarette, in the no. Or you, you have no choice, you, you drive to the hospital. You try to keep everything to a minimum. You don't smoke, you don't, di- right? That's, that's tchuya. Same thing with tuma. If tuma was dachoy, so it's a b'dieved. No, uh, uh, we, had, we don't have a brera. But go search. Maybe there's somebody around that's not Tommy. He can do the shkita for you. You have to search. You have to. It's big nafkemina. The big nafkemina for us is that if it's d'chuya, then you need this. You need the tzitz to be miratza. You need a kapara. It's pushed off, but I need, I need, a, I need a kapar. I need this to help it through, to go through the channels. If it's hutra, if Akash said, mutter, mutter, okay, so it's mutter. 
So the Gemara basically, what the Gemara is trying to do is very interesting Gemara. The Gemara wants to prove, on the one hand, that our Mishnah perhaps, these Tamid Chacham said, our Mishnah cannot go according to Rabbi Shua. So, let me just show you real quickly some of the steps here. I try to make it more complicated. It's not that many steps, but I, I try to make it more interesting and complicated. So here's a very simple breakdown. If, step one, if we call it Tumat Chuya, you're pushing off the tumma. It's not gone completely. It's not a heter. It's a dichoya. Because Baruch Hu allows you to do it. Then, step two is you're going to need the tzitz. Okay, so that we discussed. But the tzitz, we're going to... So basically, the Gemara makes two assumptions. Assumption in number one and number three. Those are the two assumptions that the Gemara is going to say. And if you say these two assumptions, then, we have a, then this cannot go according to Rabbi Yeshua. And the answer of the Gemara is that these assumptions are off. That's the end of the Gemara. We don't go with these assumptions. Okay, but what are the two assumptions? Number one, that we're talking about Tumat Chuyah, not Tumat Hutter Chuyah, not Hutter Tumat. Number three is that the Tzitz is not Meratza Oichel. In other words, the Tzitz of the Kain Gadol has the power to forgive the blood that you spill on the, on the Mizbeach. A Mincha, but not the food. If not the food, we have a major problem. Why? If you assume, number three, not food, according to Rabbi Yeshua, we're going to show that you need two things. When you put blood on a mezbeach, you need blood, but you also need the actual meat. You need steaks. You hear? You need a steak. You want to put it on the air conditioner? You can do that. It might be kedai to put the air conditioner on. You need food and you need dam. The problem is, if you don't have a tzitz to make the food kosher, then you can't put the blood on the Mizbeach. If you can't put the blood on the Mizbeach, then you don't have a kapara. That's the whole cheshman. The only way to put blood on the Mizbeach is if you have the steak. The only way to have a steak is if you have a tzitz. But the tzitz doesn't give you a kapara on the steak. The tzitz only gives you a kapara on the blood. So it can't go according to Yeshua. That's the whole sugya. But in order to get to these steps, we are going to go through a whole drush. How does each one, how does Rabbi Lezid Dajan the Pazik, how does Rabbi Shua Dajan the The question actually is on Amit Bey somewhere in the middle. All the way on Amit Bey. So let's see inside. Do not fall asleep on me. It's Kishmak is tough. Savrua, so the Amit Chalam thought, assumption number one, the Okay. They went with assumption number one, which is not so posh that we're going to go with number one. Everybody, everybody, you know how they say, all the kids say, oh, everybody in my class has an iPhone. Everybody does this. Not, it's not always everybody. Everybody holds Tuma Tchuya. Guliyama Tuma Tchuya Yibetzibor. Versus, if it would be Tuma Chutra Yibetzibor, then the whole question would fall away because I don't need a tzitz. I don't need the, the Kain Gadol's golden tzitz. So, but they thought, Therefore, the Gemara says it. I don't need to put it in my sheet here. And therefore, you need the tzitz. Now, I just want to stop here because, say one geshmaka thing before we go heavy into it. Who's that? Rich Lyman Miller? Who's that? That's Larry Pro, really? Larry, I got the I don't want to wake him up. Okay. He's in a. He's, where is he? No, it looks like he's in a recovery somewhere. Maybe in a nursing home. Okay. Don't wake him up. So, there's a whole Nidain in the Sefer Ira Kodesh, and a lot of people talk about it. Maybe we should bring a carbon paste of Bismanazir. So, so they say that you don't bring a carbon page of Bizman as a why? Because we are all Tmei Meis. We all went to Levias. We all. The, the, and in order to become tar from a Tmei Meis, it doesn't help to go into a mikvah. You need Hazah from a Paraduma. You need the spring. We don't have a Paraduma. So forget the, the, the carbon page. That's off. But what about other carbonas? Bring a carbon tomate every day. 
So they say that it depends, a machloik is Rashi and the Rambam, if you need the tzitz to be miratza, because what's the, what's the shayla? Tumah, hudra b'tzibur. Since we're a tzibur, and we're all tmei meis, very good. Just bring the carbon. You're allowed to bring a carbon tamid. We just learned in our Mishnah. But that's maybe because the tzitz is miratza. It forgives that kind of tumah. But if you, we don't have a tzitz today. So according to Rashi, we don't have a tzitz today, so it, you can't bring a carbon. But according to Rambam, Fakert, maybe Fakert, hold on. What did I say? Uh, no, according to the Rambam, you need a tzitz. And according to Rashi, you'd be able to bring a carbon today. L'chaira, maybe. Fine. So those who hold like Rashi could bring carbonus today, according to that. Says the Gemara. And the Gemara says, There's nobody that says that you don't need it. Says, Rabbi Yehuda. It's only one person. Rabbi Yehuda. Okay, he's a yachid. We're going to go with this. It's not hudra, it's dechuya, and therefore you require it. Sits. How do we know this? Tzitz. Whether the tzitz is on his forehead or whether the tzitz is not on his forehead of the coin Gadol, it gives you the read to the Rebbe Shimon. Rebbe says it has to be on his forehead. These are all, we're going to go into different sugis in order to get to this question. Sugi number one, does the tzitz, do you need the tzitz on the forehead? You don't need the tzitz on the forehead. Rebbe Shimon. Rebbe Shimon tells Rebbe Yehuda. The Kohen Gadol Yom Kippur, how is he, what, what does the Kohen Gadol look like on Yom Kippur? He's wearing the white clothing. He's not wearing any of his jewelry, any of the gold. You know why? Because in Kategor, Nasa Sanegor. Gold is what they made the ego from. So you can't wear gold. The tzitz is gold. You can't wear gold on Yom Kippur. So he doesn't have the gold. He doesn't have the tzitz yet. Merata. What if on, on, on Yom Kippur he's Tomei, the Tomei, everybody's Tomei? We don't see it's a problem. You keep on bringing the Karbanas on Yom Kippur. So you see that the tzitz in the closet is enough to be Merata. Oh my Lord, Rabbi Yehuda tells him, Hanachli Yom Kippurim, Shetumah Hutra B'Tzibur. Rabbi Yehuda is of the opinion, Tumah Hutra B'Tzibur, but nobody else. Miklal, the Rabbi Shimon Sava, Tumah Dechuyah B'Tzibur. Rabbi Yehuda is of the opinion, Tumi goes away complete. The, the, there's no Israel at all. You don't need a kapara. It's gone. It's erased. And everybody else holds. Tuma dechuya. It's only pushed off, but it's in the background. You have to get a kapara. You need the tzitz. And we need to say assumption number three. Assumption number three was that the tzitz is not mirata on food. What the tzitz does, it's, it gives a kapara to the blood that you can throw the blood on the mizbeach. But nothing to do with the food. It doesn't help for the food. There's only one person, one Tana, that says that it sits, works for food. And who is that? El Rebeliezer. No, so what if it's Rebeliezer? What's the problem with Rebeliezer? Rabbi Isai, you remember who Rebeliezer is? What's Rebeliezer's nickname? Shamuti. Very good, Laibi. Shamuti. Rebelezer, either some people learn, there's a Pshat and Rashi, Shemuti means he comes from Beishamai, we don't pass on the Shemuti, Beishamai, but the Anganumina Pshat, at least the, 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 the more interesting Pshat is that he, they put him in Kherim with a famous story, Lazachnoi, we just had it the other day. It's a very sad life. He was the Galat Dar, and Shemayim agreed with him, but they put him in Kherim. Once they put him in Kherim, we don't pass him like him. Anything. Gemara Shabbos, we don't, they said pass him like him. No, we don't pass him like him. Shemuti. So therefore, if he's the only one that says that the tzitz is miratza on food, we ignore him. He's a shamut, he's a cherim. He's the one that says that the tzitz does a good job for food, gives you a kapara. And we don't go like Rebbe And therefore, name him as least in the law, This is the question, and we're not going to explain the question for another 20 minutes. Perhaps, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, we're going to be home in 20 minutes, don't worry. He <laughs> gave me this look like, what, what, 20 more, yeah, 20 more minutes. Yes, I should have started on time, no, this was my fault.
Oh, very good. Where do you see that? Okay. Yeah, okay, very good. Rabbi Yossi, Nimuki, Imoi. And we'll pass him like, like him over Rabbi Lezer. Okay. It, it's a, it's a, but it's not as exciting as my Pshat. I like the, you know, the, the far-fetched things, you know. It's Shemuti, and the trees came down, and the Nachamai went this way, the water stood up, and it's Shemuti. Okay, you want to do it nicer, be, be a Balmidas? Fine, we'll go your way. Rabbi Lezer and Rabbi Yossi. We go with Rabbi Yossi, because Nimuki, Imoi. He, we go with him. That's how we pass him. Great. I'll call upon him. But it's good to hear your voice. I haven't heard you. That means that in the last three weeks, I didn't make any mistakes. Besides the ones that every, all the emails people send me. I'd much rather be embarrassed by you on the spot than people send me an emails later on and tell me that I messed up. So that's the Gemara. The Gemara's point is to prove that our mission doesn't go like Rabbi Shua and the Gemara is not so successful. Sanyo. Okay. So here's the Pasuk. I don't know, could you, could you zoom in? I don't know if you need to zoom in. So if we stop right here, you see how the basar goes together with the dam. That's one shita. That if you don't have one, you don't have the other. If, if the blood is not good, then the basar is not good. But that everybody holds. And if the, what if the, there's no meat? The meat is tame, whatever. Do you have blood? So that's one shita. Basar and dam, they go together. Then it says, and this is what the Gemara is going to talk about. It's about the blood. It's not about the meat at all. And then finally, at the end of the passage, it says, So maybe is a continuation of Adam Zivachacha. So again, you have Abbas of Adam and you have Adam Zivachacha of Abbas, and they go together. You need both. That's a little bit of the sugi here. Before we get to the big question on Rabbi Yeshua, the Sanya. Look, they're together. They're buddies. And therefore, if the basar is tame, and why is the basar tame? I don't have a tzitz, let's say. The tzitz only works for the dam. This way. It doesn't work for the basar. So in Mela, I, don't, I can't put the dam on the mizbeach. I can't just put blood when I don't have basar. I need steaks. And I don't have steaks. You know why? Because I don't have a tzitz. The tzitz only works for the dam. It doesn't work for this. That's the question. Not true. Rabbi Lezer argues. And he says, all you need is blood. That's the main thing. Why? In the same passage, it says, That's the ikir over here. Yishafech. I should have made this word larger. Sorry. Yishafech. You need to spill blood. You don't need to spill meat. But we have a problem. Rishul points out a good, a good, a good nekuda. It says the two of these guys together. Whoa! You hear this chiddush? You need to throw meat. You're not nice. You don't put it down nicely, politely on the mizbeach. You toss it. It's a mitzvah to toss it, just like you toss the blood. Have lul cotton. Yes, ben kevish mizbeach. There was a gap. Now, if you remember, we had this word lul in this Masechta. And over there is like, there's a lul. And he actually, it's funny that the Masechta Shas points out that he brings it, but it's a completely different lul. The lul over there was, there was a hole in the ground to put the chata sa'if. You remember? He brings it as a, he's, as a tziot. Okay. Do you see over here in this picture, this black gap over here? Right over here. Between the kevesh, the ramp, and the there's a gap. So you stand over here and you toss it. The Rambam says there's a, there's a gap over here. So you notice, and it says, it's like a stop sign. It's like you paint the red line on the floor, don't go past this point. So they put a gap over here. I think it's Rashi that says that the gap is, that goes all the way down, so you're actually throwing it Above the airspace. Not just throwing it, but there's actually to the ground, over the ground. Okay. So that's how he learns Habasar Vahadam. That these two, yes, yes, you're right. The Basar and Dam are, are similar, but only in the Halacha. Oh, that's much sharper. I don't know what you did, but that is very sharp. Before it was like blurry. So Habasar Vahadam, they're, they're, they are similar in, in a different Halacha. That became blurry again. That's what it is? Okay. Got it. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 
I could read, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Habos v'adam, that in Benigat, the throwing it, did the same. Habos v'adam, that in Benigat, the throwing it, did the same. By the way, we're two lines from the bottom of the page. So you can catch up before we even turn. What's Rabbi Shua going to do with Rabbi Liaz's words? He has a very good point as well. It says that they are, that it's all about the blood. Hey, look, just continue the pasuk, and it says they are together. Again, it says that they're the same. We are turning to Dab Ain Zayin, Omud Bey, sponsored by Kesha Nafshi. Zechus, for the struggling kids in pain of Klai Yisrael, and for the Refuge Lamb, for all Chayli Yisrael, for Rabbi Miller's son, for what's her name? I don't remember her name anymore. Shira Baz the very Leah. Especially for the MDY family, please consider joining MDY Tehillim group at tehillim.aitmin.com. It's working. Tehillim is working. Vanitrei kroi lomeli. According to Rabbi Shua, why does it possible? They're in the same pasuk, twice. Habasar dam and dam basar. Why twice? V'chad v'oyla, v'chad v'shlamim. This, says Rashi, v'dam zvachecha, believe it or not, is talking about shlamim. And... This one is talking about, no, sorry. Dan Zohar Abbas is Shlamim. Habas Vadam is Ayla. As I said, Rash. Utsricha, Adik, Kosa Rachman Abba Ayla, Havamina Ayla, He, the Chamir Shekin Kal. I need it both. I need the Basak to repeat itself. Ayla is very Chamor. Abba Shlam, the Chamir Emilai. I would think that it's not dependent one on the other. You don't need, you don't need. Uh, Basar dam. According to Rabbi Shua, you need both. You, need, you cannot do zrikas adam if you don't have the meat. But I think shlamim is not so chamer. Okay, you can get away with just blood. You don't need the meat to be around and not tummy. Because Rabbi Shua, shlamim have amina adrava. This bush they chilois. The mizbeach eats it and the owners eat it. Two, two, two entities eat this animal. Only the mizbeach eats the animal. Okay, so each one has it. That's what the Pesach has to say twice. We go weiter. Virbilezanami, we're not by the question yet. Virbilezanami, oksiva, bosotoichel, but at the end of the day, we got a problem. Rabbi Shua has a gewaldic atayana. He's pointing out, it says, vidam zvochecha, that it's all about the blood, not about the meat, but a second later, it says, vabosotoichel, it is about the meat. Says the Gemara. It's to teach you. The eating part. When do you get to eat your steak? After they throw the blood. So then where does Rebbe Yezer get his chidush? Where does he get his chidush from? It's only coming to say one thing. It's only coming to say they have to wait until you spray the blood. How does he know that's all about the blood and not about the meat? The Pesach is only saying that you, in order to eat the meat, in order to eat the steak, you need to spray the blood on the Mizbech. But how do you know it's only about the blood? That that, and if the meat is Tomei, we don't care. Look at the, look at the order. order. Over it says, Basar, meat, steak comes first, then blood. And over it says, blood and then steak. So why did, why did it make it first? It comes to teach us the two chidushim. Rabbi Shua, in Abbas Mutab Achila, she's Zor Kadam, and has he knows this halacha, he, he agrees to Rabbi Eliezer. You need to sprinkle the blood on his beya before you get to eat, it, eat the meat. Kavachoymer, beautiful Kavachoymer, very logical Kavachoymer. It's so logical, in fact, that Rabbi Eliezer is going to have to agree that it's a good Kavachoymer. And we're going to have to understand if it's a good Kavachayim, then why does Rebbe need a Pasuk? But what's the Kavachayim? Umayi murim dechi lesnu le'ma'akvi. The things that go on the Mizbech, the murim, the chaylev, yeah? Goes on the Mizbech. If they disappear, le'ma'akvi. It's a good, good kapara for the, for, the, for the owner. 
But if you have them in front of you, you have to put them on the Mizbeach. Dam, Ma'akev, if the blood gets, if the blood is spilled on the floor, that's it. Carbon is garbage. Throw it out. You lose the blood. You don't do zrika. Garbage. The, the guy has to bring Nebuch another carbon. Ki say, so if it's in front of you, like calls you the Ma'akev, then certainly you have to spill it on the Mizbeach. Says the Gemara, and Rebbe Gleazer, what is he going to do with this Kavach He doesn't have a, a Pirchot of the Kavach It's a beautiful Kavach Haimer. Mil says, that's the Kavach Haimer. Don't because of the crow. Yeah. That's why the Torah repeats it. It's such a beautiful Kavach Haimer. Sometimes the Torah likes to, uh, to reinforce it. Says the Gemara, great. Uh, so what about Rebbe Shua? Rebbe Shua, Kalech Dekel Midrash, Zashinan. Sometimes the Torah likes to repeat it. But if I could get another Limud out of it, I'd much rather use it for another Limud. Hashto. Oh. Okay, here we are. We're by the question. If you want to know where we are, we are three lines from where it becomes white. Hashto. Leima, Masnisen, Deloi, Kirby, Shua. Perhaps our Mishnah that says that all these animals you're allowed to bring on the Mizbeach when you are Tomei, like Rish Chodesh, animal, doesn't go like Rabbi Shua. Why? The key, even though Omar being in Tarti, you need two things, two assumptions we made that are solid. What? Tuma Dechuyah. Sorry. That's not what it means. You need Tarti. Habosar Adam. You need the meat in order to pour the blood on the Mizbeach. You need meat that's available and tahar. And the only way you can get to that meat is through the tzitz. Why? Because it's tumat chuya. If it's chuya, you need a tzitz. Hutra, you don't need a tzitz. So since I don't have meat because it's tamay, so I can't put the blood on the Mizbeach. If I can't put the blood on the Mizbeach, how do I bring a a Rish Chodesh carbon, for instance, a Rish Chodesh, when everybody's Tomei. The only way I can bring in a Rish Chodesh is if it's Hutra. Or if it's Dchuya and the Tzitz works to be Mechaper, the meat. But the Tzitz doesn't work for meat, we just said. If it doesn't work for the meat, then Rib Shua can't fit into the Mishnah. How do you bring a carbon when you're Tomei? Says the Gemara, I feel that Rib Shua. So let me just show you real quickly. Again, just to complicate things, make it more It's very, very simple, actually. But I'm just going to show you four attempts here of the Gemara. We're saying that tzitz is not maratza food. Says the Gemara, tzitz is maratza. Tzitz is maratza, not the steaks that you eat, but the tzitz is maratza, the food that goes on the Mizbeach. And that's enough for Rabbi Shua. Blood and, and meat that goes on the Mizbeach. Not that you're eating steaks, but that's also maratza. So he fits right into the Mishnah. Rabbi Shua has two things here. He has blood and he has meat. That is tar. How is it tar? Through the tzitz, which is maratza, those that go on the mizbeach. Fine. Another pshat is, tzitz is maratza, actual food. The steaks are maratza through the tzitz. You made it an assumption. In order to ask you a question, you made an assumption. Don't make such assumptions. You thought that the tzitz doesn't have any implication on the meat. It does. It actually is maratza meat. Another pshat is, the Gemara gets rid of these pshatim, two and three. One is not a pshat. Two is a pshat, three is a pshat. Four, that, that the Yeved, it is good. What, what Rabbi Shua is saying is, don't put such a carbon on the Mizbeach. What if you went ahead and you did? They, they didn't realize that the, the, the carbon of Rish Chodesh is Tomei, and they put it on the Mizbeach. Is it a good carbon or not? Yes. But the Yeved, after the fact, Rabbi Shua will admit it's good. So that's pshat number three. And pshat number four, which is five over here, and that's the final pshat, is that for the community, the tzitz is maratza, end the story, and he fits right into the Mishnah. Rabbi Shua could fit into the Mishnah. So let's see all these pirushim now, and that's the end of today's daf. So, we are five lines from where it's wide. Elo, kosover, Rabbi Shua, tzitz maratza, ala oilin. Oilin is not a carbon oila. Oilin is things that go onto the mizbeach. Says the Gemara, very good. That's great for a carbon. If you have a zevach, you have a carbon, so you have things that go, you have the imurim that go onto the mizbeach. And that's what the tzitz accomplishes. It gives that part a kapara. It makes that part, so to speak, tahar. That the, the, it's not a problem that it's tahar. You can go on the mizbeach and klai Yisrael has a kapara. Eloi merushte alechem, deleka oilin. Well, what do you do with with flour, the flour of the Oimer. 
the bread of the of Shavuos. The Leka Oilam, nothing goes on the Mizbeach. Michael and Meimar. So, one way to get out of this is army. Come, Rabbi Shua, Nami, to be an entirety. Bizvachim, bin a melachas, loyomar. Rabbi Shua, when he said that the citizens are not Meratza, you need two things. What do you need? You need habosar vahadam. You need two things meat and blood. And when it comes to Rabbi Isai, when it comes to a Neumer, where's the blood? I don't see blood. What's the answer? You learned Zvachim, you know. What you put on the Mizbeach, you put the Mincha part on the Mizbeach, that's the blood. That equals blood. There's no blood, blood, but that... But there's no food. There's no steak that goes on the Mizbeach. Says the Gemara, Enochanami, Rabbi Shun never said you need two things. Over there, not, it's enough to have blood. What, he never said it by Menachas? What, Nan? It says, get to a mincha, a mincha, flour, oil, that goes on the mezbeach, nitmushi, orel, the leftover, the coin goes like this with his hand. And he takes out some flour, he puts that on the mezbeach. The leftover became tame. Of the orel, the leftover got lost. But let's, let's remember the first word. Nitmushi, orel. We need to remember that, because we're going to go back to that. Nitmushi, orel, became tame. Of the orel, got lost. Rebbe Lezer says, I don't care about the leftover. By an animal, do I care about the meat? No. That could become tummy all day long. All I care about, says Rebbe Lezer, I care about blood. That's all I care about. So, according to Rebbe Lezer, it's great. It's kosher. Yeshua says you need both. I need two things. So this, Mincha, that you took the Kaimetz. The Kaimetz equals blood. The shirayim equals basar. I need both. And if one of the two become tame, no good. The answer is, so over here you see that Rabbi Shua continues with the shita, brings the shita into a mincha. You just told me it doesn't apply to mincha. It's, it's like Rabbi Shua, but not Rabbi Shua. In other words, the Gemara is saying this is a different man completely. He holds like a Yeshua that you need two. By a mincha, you need two. You need the shirai, you need the actual mincha, and you need the part that goes on the mizbech. Velaykim it is a Yeshua. Dealer of Yeshua, bezvachim al menachas loyamar. Bezvachim al menachas loyamar. It's not even a Yeshua. Who is it? Another Tana. Yilu hai Tana, sovar, filu menachas. It's this Tana. Don't ask questions from this Tana. It's not, it's not a question of a Yeshua. It's not a Yeshua. Ask the Gemara, what are you talking about? You can't just make up that it's another Tana. If you're going to say it's another Tana, give me a name. Give me, give me a source. Tell me who it is. Umanu Aitana. The Koyk of say. He holds like Yeshua. Umachmer Tfemine. He's even more machmer. He takes his shita to such an extreme and he applies his shita not only by a carbon but also to mincha. Tell me who it is. You can't come up with a name, then I'm not going to trust you. Okay, we're not going to explain what we're saying. We're just going to say the words because tomorrow on Ahmed Bez we're going to explain it. It, 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 it. Just the words alone don't make any sense. But let's take out something from these words. It says like this. I love Rebbe Lezer when it comes to Mincha and kar- Karbanis. And guess what? And I love Rebbe Yeshua and And when it comes to Karbanis and Menachas. But stop, I know it sounds like a tremendous contradiction. I love them both. They both say that, that. fine. But the point is that it says like this, I love Rabbi Shua in a mincha. So you see, Rabbi Shua applies his shita to a mincha. You just try to wiggle your way out of it and say, no, Rabbi Shua never said his shita only in a carbon, not in a mincha. But over here, Rabbi Yezi says, I love his shita in a mincha. Rabbi Yezi holds, like we just said at the whole sugi today, that you need... Only, v'dam zvachecha, only blood. That's what counts. V'dir Yeshua b'zvachim, sh'yoymer, main dam, in basar, you need both. You need both. Dam and basar, main basar, in dam. V'dir Yeshua b'lezeh b'melacha, sh'yoymer, koymer, tzav b'shin shurayim. Look, he's talking about a mincha. Rebelezeh says, all I need is the kmitza, one handful of flour, even though the rest of the bowl, the shurayim, becomes tamay. I don't care. Avishin shurayim. V'dir Yeshua b'melacha, and I love Rebbe Yeshua. You need both. You need the kmitzah, you need the bowl. Fine. But you see the Yeshua holds a shita in a mincha. So now, try number two. 
Hatzitz Not only things that go, number two is only things that go onto the Mizbech. Even food, even steaks. The tzitz of the Kohen Gadol gives a kapara, it makes it tar. You thought it was tar, mate? Even the food is tar. The whole question was that the tzitz doesn't give a kapara to food. And if it doesn't give kapara to food, I can't put the blood on the Mizbech. Because I need two, I need blood and food. The tzitz does give a kapara to food. Great answer. Yochi, Amai Kemidus Rabbi Yeshua, Yeshua Psulo. Amai Kemidus Rabbi Yeshua, Psulo. We just said in the Mishnah, go up, I don't know, 11, 12 lines. What's not? Nitim Shiorel, Kemidus Rabbi Yeshua, Psulo. It says, according to Rabbi Yeshua, it's Pasul. It must be, Al-Avad Vesar. If that Mishnah is talking about if it got lost or got burned, then it's not if it got tummy. El Nitma. It says in the beginning, but nan, nitmu shiorea. Remember, I told you to remember that word? Nitmu shiorea. If it became tame, so you can't tell me it's not talking about tame. It says, mafurish tame. Elo, nitma leman katani. Don't tell me it goes according to Rebeleazer. Pshito. Hashish lemo, but it's already less than mafsh Rebeleazer. If it got lost and it's not even in front of us. Rebeleazer says it's still a kosher mincha. Nitma. This is a, if, if it's in front of us, it just became tame. Of course it's okay. El pshito, the rabbi shua. And it says that if it came to me, it's possible. So your terrorist is out the window. All karbonas. If you have meat and you have the parts that go on the Mizbeach, one or the other became Tomei, no good. Uh, sorry. It is good. If one of the two became Tomei, it's enough that I have all the stakes that are not Tomei. And if the stakes became Tomei, it's enough that I have all the Imurim, that whole bowl of those things that I kind of, they're not gross, they're beautiful, they're yummy, they go on the Mizbeach, so it's enough, that's enough. Then I could, I could, I could sprinkle the blood. But if both the stakes and the Imurim that go on the Mizbeach became Tomei, no. Here you have meat, stakes, and you have the Imurim, and neither of them became tahar through the tzitz. Not the oil, not the imurim that go on the mizbeach, like teretz number two, and not teretz number three, that the food becomes tahar through the tzitz. Tzitz doesn't accomplish anything when it comes to food, according to Yeshua. Hello, another teretz. Lo ilo, maybe Yeshua he must listen. No, our Mishnah could go according to Yeshua. But like Kashio, your old Kashio, that it doesn't fit in. Kan lechatchila kan di'eved. Rabbi Shua, yes, you're right. Rabbi Shua said that if the food is Tomei, do not sprinkle the blood in the Zbeach. He doesn't take that back. What our Mishnah is saying is that what if he did sprinkle the blood in the Zbeach? He didn't know. He didn't know. And he found out later everything was Tomei. Rabbi Shua will agree that everybody gets a kapara. But the Yavid, after the fact, but the Yavid, it's okay. So our Mishnah fits like Rabbi Shua. Our Mishnah is talking about a the Yavid case, not a Lachat Chil. That's an attempt. Attempt number three. This is the purple. Rabbi Shua is talking about you go to ask the Rav, should I sprinkle the blood? The meat is tummy. The steaks are all tummy. Should I sprinkle blood? Rabbi Leza says yes. Rabbi Shua says no. But our mission is talking about not that you asked the Rav. You forgot to ask the Rav and you did it. You thought you know and you didn't listen to him. When a Timra, the Shon of Rabbi Shua, first, before we slug this up, we want to see that there's such a concept. Umen Timra, we're only going one line onto Ein Ches. Don't worry about it. We're five lines from the end. Umen Timra, the Shon of Rabbi Yeshua, Ben Lechatchila, the Diavid. How do you know there's such an Afkim? Daniel. Nitma, Basar, Yishin, Nifsal. If the blood, ooh, I forgot to bring my picture. Okay, but you guys know what it is. You know what a Tful Yom looks like already, right? What does a Tful Yom look like? Guy coming out of the mikvah, a bobblehead coming out of the mikvah, with a towel. That's a tful yoyim. What does that mean? We're going to get there in a second. Let's first read these words. Nitma basar. If the meat became tummy. Or nifsal. What does nifsal mean? That a tful yoyim, somebody that was tummy, had he touched the meat, would be the first word. Nitma basar. But that's not what happened. He went to the mikvah that day. But he has to wait to Herif Shemesh. He has to wait until Shkia comes. And he didn't wait. And he touched meat. What happens to the meat? Pasal. Because he's, he's tummy and he's not tummy. He got rid of a lot of his tumma, but not to the point that if he touches kachim, or truma, kachim, it becomes tummy. 
It becomes not tame, it becomes possible. It doesn't have the power to give off tumma to anything else, but it itself is also. Okay. Oshi, it's a chutzla kloim. You went outside of where you could eat it. Rivelez, oh, imi, zarek. What do you do? Rivelez says, no problem. I don't care about the meat. But dam zivochecha, it's all about the blood. Shoim, ela, zarek. Rivelez says, habos of adam. If the bosser is no good, it became tame, a tulium touched it, or he went out of the mechitzais. Lay zarek. Well, here's the point. What if the guy's a shegitz, he, he, he threw the blood on the mezbech anyways, or he forgot, he didn't know? Hurtza. So what do you see? You see the concept of b'dyeved. Says the Gemara, I don't like it. Number one, the word puzzle means that it's even b'dyeved. Not only the Look at our mission. It says, Bayin. Bayin means I could bring a carbon like this. L'chatchila mashma. Ella, says the Gemara finally, the fifth and final Teretz. Ella Lekashia, our Mishnah goes according to Yeshua. Kam biyachid, kam b'tzibur. Our Mishnah is talking about five karbonas tzibur. Rish Chaydish carbon is for the tzibur. That's why Yeshua says, the tzis is meratza, everything is great. Have a wonderful week. I see the Ayla, I'm in like 10 hours. For the Hemshech of the Sugya, 10 hours. It's great to see you. Yeah, you too. What's going on? You got vaccinations, everything's good? You had COVID, that's it. Wow. Chaval. I think vaccinations are going to be better for us. We're going to run into a problem with the COVID people in five, six months. That's the problem. What? Oh, it was one of those sogas. Mazel tov, Shmuley. Mazel tov. It's great to see you. How's the baby doing? Another one. Number? Um, he's having getting a feed tube for this. So he like hopefully we have made it Sunday. How many how many uh how many procedures did he have? This is his first like uh, big procedure. This is the first one? I thought he had a lot of them, no? Uh, so he might have to like for a while. He had a pneumonia. Pneumonia. It's unbelievable. BPP. BPP, this one we stay. That's when you can take off. On Monday, so I'll be here Monday morning. All right, so remind us to say tell him, please. Okay. Good to Vox. Good to see you. Agdevach, Agdevach. Mazel Tov Zalman. Yeah. You gotta agree. You gotta agree. It's way less exciting to give shit to the camera from New York and the home. When you study, you stop. It's less exciting when they're not on or when they, they are on. I love, I love, I love, first of all, you have all the Hebrew from, you have, you have all the English guys and you have the South Africans. It's not the same, it's not the same. I really, I love, I, Sunday's my favorite because the most New Yorkers are on, because it's Motsi Shabbos, it's, it's great. I'm also from New York, I'm right here next to me. <laughs> Yeah. No. What about flying in? What about flying in? Two weeks? Two weeks? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. No, the worse it is, the better, the, the less tightness my brother will have on me. The worse, oh my gosh. No, we only do because the ground borders are open, so you can fly to Oman and then take the bus 
to Sakhnin, which is like 10 minutes from no, here. No, they stopped that. They said they stopped it. Wow, wow. I'm not going to be here. I'm going to be... Dad, I have a bridge to sell you. Now, Eddie, my father said that he doesn't want to join you for Paul Pukam Pesach, so as long as he gets to be Shoichet. Oh, I would love it. I would love it. I would love him to be the Shoichet. But listen, if, if he's going to be here in Eretz Yisrael, I'm, I'm reserving him. I need him to be my Shoichet. I want the top, top Shoichet. Mm. I, I, I have a feeling, knowing me, knowing me, I'm going to miss, I'm going to miss all, I'm, I live here in Israel, but for carbon pace, I'm going to be in Chicago, because my wife forces me to go to, Ch to Chicago for every Pesach, because Baruch was going to like show it to me. What? You'll be part of the third group. Nice, nice. I like it, I like it. Listen, I was only five minutes late today, but you know, it was Gary, Gary of course, he, he didn't show up. <laughs> I'm the cat that's learning. Oh yeah? Did you ask him if he remembers that I felt did you ask him about the story that I fell into the cesspool? What? You don't know the story about that I fell into the cesspool? Oh, we heard that. Come on. Hey, Nach is like, you don't realize, he talks a lot after Zoom, on Zoom, so you think that he's been here for a while. He has no clue yet. Mom has no clue. He's a rookie. Hey, Nach is a rookie. You don't know about the cesspool? Come on, that's olive base. Push it olive base. <laughs> 